Elon Musk had posted this. And uh, just some verbiage that really, really sums up over the last uh, four and a half years, 15 days to flatten the curve. And what you may face in the future. I hope not. I hope that we face a decade worth of peace and none of the globalists don't come after us at all. Yeah. I really do. I hope for that. Trump, hope Trump wins in November. I believe that he will. And that we have four years of peace and plus prosperity. And then another four years of J.D. Vance, peace and pro- prosperity. Then another four years of J.D. Vance, peace and prosperity, 12 years. I hope that that's true. That's what I'm wa- wanting for. I'll be praying for it. But here's, here's this was a really, you, you look in the Bible and you talk about separating uh, the wheat from the chaff, the lambs from the goats. Here you have it right here. You watch the Hunger Games, and most of us did. You sided with the resistance. Yep. You watch Star Wars, and you please... Retweet this, send this to every COVID caving Christian, COVID caving conservative, and then you know after you get after you get past them, COVID caving clergy, COVID caving churches, and then send this to every COVID caving libertarian. Notice I'm going down, I'm going down the ladder now. <laughs> COVID caving libertarian, COVID caving liberal, and COVID caving leftist. Because every one of these people, everyone, whether it's COVID caving conservative all the way down to COVID caving leftists. Big difference between liberal and leftist. That's why they're further down the rung. But all the way from COVID caving Christian, all the way down to COVID caving leftist, everybody watches these movies. Every last one of us watch these movies and believe, whether maybe you watch The Diary of Anne Frank, everybody believes that they would side with the resistance. But we saw that nobody does. Because what people think they actually think the resistance is wrong. Mm-hmm. And they believe that the oppression is correct. When, when push comes to shove, when it actually lands on our doorsteps, people believe that the oppressive nature of the devil is right and the liberty of Christ is oppression. That's what they actually believe. You watch Star Wars, you sided with the resistance. You watch The Matrix, you sided with the resistance. You watch Divergent. And you sided with the resistance. Strange. I actually have seen all of these movies. <laughs> you watch V for Vendetta, which I never watched until Aaron told me about it. Awesome movie. Love it. And you sided with the resistance. And it's funny with that. I just leave this up. It's funny with that because you ever notice that V for Vendetta, my only vendetta with Vendetta, with V for Vendetta, is that they actually make it look like right wing. Uh-huh. They think that's going to be the right. How does the how does the right wing ever suppress speech? <laughs> Because if you look at it, you look at you you look at Viva Vendetta. It's all these people that were against trans, mm-hmm. that were against homosexual marriage. But have you ever noticed that we never force anything on them? Nope. Like we don't ever force a homosexual to say that he's anti-homosexual. But the homosexual community tries to force us into saying that we are pro-homosexuality. The pro-trans community tries to force us. Into, into using their preferred pronouns with people around the globe now being arrested for not doing so. When you, you look at the number of arrests, most of you have seen this demographic already, but in, in, in last year in Russia, there was about three to 400 arrests for hate speech or unapproved speech, as Justin Trudeau would say it, and 4,000 arrests inside of the U.K., for unapproved speech. That's crazy. So that, and by the way, that's absolute fact. It's yep. indisputable fact. So the very people that, when you look at V for Vendetta, they're saying that it's right wingers that will come in and not allow gay people to be married. You know what? It, that goes first of all, state to state. But notice, we may say you're not allowed to get married, okay? Because it's stupid for a man to marry a man. But we never said you can't be gay. <laughs> right. You want to be gay? Go be gay. You'll burn hell for all of eternity for it. But go ahead and be gay. We never do that. We never, we never try to force people into using Bible verses. We just proclaim Bible verses. Yep. So again, the very people that always, just, you just, that always are espousing that you are the oppressor are actually the oppressor themselves. The people that are claiming to be the oppressed are the oppressors. And, it, it, and that's the way that always is. Notice that what they do, even in V for Vendetta, is and I love the movie. I just flipped the script on it because I know that they're wrong. 100%. But it was made by Hollywood left arts, yeah. who believe that we will be the ones that actually come and lock them down. Who was it? The, who was it that came and locked them down? <laughs> oh, that would be Gavin Newsom. <laughs> um, that would be Tim Walz, Gretchen Whitmer. Uh, let's see, uh, Andrew Cuomo, uh, Tommy Wolf, 
and Phil Murphy, the, all the left hearts were the ones who, Ursula van der Leyen. So the left hearts were the ones in V for Vendetta. Remember, they use they use a virus to lock everybody down. Yep. And to, and to usher in totalitarianism. Um, who did that exactly? Hmm. Was it right wingers that ever do those things?